Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how I make my candle labels using Canva. So in this case I'm using a label that I had already made a while ago. I used two different fonts and just like two lines to separate the different elements and I just think it has a nice clean look. Uh, also I use Avery for labels. I bought like a whole sheet of labels at Staples so until I run out, I will continue using these labels and I print them at home using my standard printer so they only print in black and white. My labels are 2 by 2 inches, it's just a small square, so in this example I will be using those measurements, but of course if you have different uh, size labels then you will put in your own size. So I'm going to click File and then create new design, custom size, and then in my case we're doing two by two inches, and create design. So you have an empty canvas to work with, and we'll be making this label from scratch. So click inside the box first, and then you will go to text and then I like to insert a heading and then like a subheading of some sort and place it at the top and the bottom. Then you can play around with adjusting the sizes, the spacing, and the fonts. So in this case, I'm just going to use the same font that I use on my labels. And you can type in like... <laughs> your candle, company name, um, I just didn't know what to type here, so there we go. Company name, and again, just, and then adjust the size. You can do lots of things with Canva, so just have fun with it, play around. Uh, it's, uh, it can be a process if you're new to this, uh, just like a lot of trial and error. So here, I'm just typing like a generic candle name. So Tropical Sunset. Canva has a ton of different fonts, so just scroll through the list and pick a font that you like. I'm gonna go with this font. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And notice how the spacing between the words is a little wide. So we're going to adjust it just by clicking on the word spacing and you can move you can move it from left to right and adjust the spacing to your preference as well as the size of the font and now I'm just adjusting the word boxes make sure they're centered and changing the font and the font size in the bottom word box to make sure it matches the top one of course, you can leave the label as is, but notice how in my labels I use lines that separate uh, the word boxes. So I'll just show you how to do that. So you will click on elements and then pick a line. And now we're going to adjust the thickness of the line. So click on line style and adjust the line weight to the thinnest one. And you can play around with colors as well, but of course in this case, we'll just keep it as is. And you can stretch it and move it around. Um, you can make it as long as you want or make it shorter, just uh, adjust it to your preference. And now I'm going to copy and paste the line and drag it to the bottom, like so. So I'm just going to center the middle text box and we're pretty much done. And now that I'm looking at it, the lines are just a bit too long. So I'm just adjusting the length of them by dragging uh, the ends. So it's really simple. Now all we have left to do now is save it on our computer. So in order to save your label, you will go to share and download 
it's recommending a PNG file, which is what we want. You can save it as a JPEG or a PDF, uh, but PNG will give you the best quality. So click on that, download, and it will save to your files. And then you can use that file to upload it to a label website or software, whatever you're using. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more videos and don't forget to like it.